Cool. Alright, I think it actually is everything that's good to go now. Cool. Alright boys and girls, welcome, welcome. This is going to be the next sort of like game that we're going to be doing in the meantime while the poll gets some votes. Actually, let's check on the current poll. Actually, I actually haven't seen what the current poll's at right now, so we're going to do that. Let me just check that out. Um, where is it? Browser. There we go. What are we currently at, boys and girls? That is the question. What is currently in the lead? Oh, Shadow of the Colossus and Detroit is right in the middle. I'm sad that Katamari and Sinking City is not anywhere higher. That'd be good if these guys. So, YouTube, if you guys want to see, if you guys want to get involved with this, definitely go into the current poll. This video will be up in the next day or two. Current, I'll put the poll in the YouTube description so you guys can have a check. I'm going to start doing that as well so you guys can actually vote in this sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, this is the next trophy we're going to be doing in the meantime. Now, just a pre-warning. Um, unfortunately, my nephew played on my account before we started this game. The whole reason why we're playing this game is because my nephew actually earned some trophies. Alright, so you can see we're at 3 out of 55. And it's pretty much for completing the first job, doing first things, first things. Something we're going to earn naturally, so... <clears throat> I did leave the counter as zero because we're going to get them eventually, so... We're just going to check them out as they go. So, uh, yes, we're going to play with tutorials because I'm later. What is our company name? Um, Platinum is why. Platinum's wise. There you go. company logo. What is our logo going to be? Yeah, let's do that one. Edit player. I think that player is fine, actually. We're going to keep that player. That is uh, actually a nice looking player. Except that. Um, okay. Oh. With mulch type deck, that means you'll cut it. The grass clippings are cut so small, no visible blades left. No parts of it. Uh, unless you overload the engine, which means the deck doesn't have the power to cut the grow, which will mean the deck doesn't have the thing. Oh, okay, I missed it. There you go. Now you have the company in select a vehicle on the list. Okay. Side discharge mower with a compact shape, remounted engine. Discharge is perfect for small loans. Well, I don't want to discharge it. Cutting deck with two blades and a rear grass collector. I want something that has the power and the speed. That's a top speed of seven and ten. What's the deck size? 98. Let's go this one. Let's go the night. I always want something a bit bigger anyways. Oh, we gotta test drive it. We gotta test drive it. So the good thing about us being um, streaming is we just can be very um, slow when it comes to this stuff. Uh, I remember. So I need to change the cut height. That's to lower the deck. Engage. I remember. I remember... Hey look, Ego. I used to sell that. Ego. That's funny, actually. I used to sell that brand, actually. Once you mow the ink and then cutting that, you should only ever turn your blades on when on grass, otherwise you damage them and affect the ability to cut. When on contracts, you're required to cut the grass and hurt. So you've been in range of 5 to 6 meters and cut 20% of the grass. Okay. Five to six. There you go. Is, is this going to take me a little bit? This is probably going to take me. Oh, I remember why I chose. Didn't like the knife. Is how we reverse. It's got like that controls at the back, and I hated it. It sucked. But that's fine. So this is definitely one of those games where I feel like we're definitely going to need some topics to talk about because this game takes a while. 
this is going to be a lengthy platinum for sure. The main one it's going to do is complete a hundred jobs. There's a few more for doing a few oh, random other bits and bobs. I feel like I didn't get the ones that are in there. No, I didn't. I can see it. Ow. Not great for the blades, that was it. This is where the whipper snipper is needed. It's fine. We're getting it done, we're getting it done. Um, so yeah, this is definitely going to be one of the lengthier plants, so this is something we're going to be continuing doing. This is something that the game is not going to be featured a crazy amount. It's it's going to be one of those games that we play in between platforms, you know, while the poll's still going. The main reason why I'm not moving on is because Octodad's already won. So there's a few things what I'm thinking about how to fix that issue. Is I think we're going to be playing the top two games, possibly. We might look at that. But I also feel like that's a bit unfair to the winner. You know, there's there's definitely going to be a clear winner. So I'm thinking that, yes, there'll be two games featured on the channel at the same time. So I'm thinking what it is, is that we'll do the poll game, whatever wins, that's definitely a must do. That's, we, that's going to be completed first. And then when that's done, if it's been under a week, oh no, why are we doing two games at the same time? So since I want to focus on two, I'm not sure how we'll actually do this because I want to focus on two at the same time. So I think what we'll do is we will, God, actually, you know what? I'm going to leave it. If you guys, if you have an actual comment, like, if you guys have an idea of what to do about this, how we should address it, you know, we're going to have a poll, but we want to feature two games on the channel at the same time. What I was thinking is, and I don't know if this is fair, it's sort of not fair really, but what I was thinking is we do the game that currently wins on the poll, and then we do something else in the meantime, you know, like I sort of want to do it as like one game, one night is one stream, the next night is another game. You know, um, so there's always two features. So what I was ori originally planning is that, you know, one game is the winner of the poll. The second game is maybe a game of my choice or um, something like that. So currently the way it's been working is, you know, we current we had Demon Souls and Teardown because Teardown was a another game that was just on the, unfortunately, as a game that my nephew played as well. You know, I want to get this, I want to get my profile to 100%. So I want 100% completion across everything. So um, <clears throat> that's the reason why we did this. Same as this. The reason why we're doing this is the game, it had three trophies unlocked already. You know, it's not great. So we're doing this as well. So what I'm thinking is when this game is finished, because currently we're featuring, what are we also featuring? We're doing Human Full Flat, moving out to. Um, and then in a week's time, we're going to be choosing another game for the current poll. So, and then the way it'll sort of work is, Human Full Flat, that's something that me and Serpent's going to be doing um, together. So I'm thinking that's fine. But, um, we'll do that together in the meantime. That's also going to break it up. But when this is done, that's when I want the, the option of what, we, what do you guys think? What do you guys recommend? Should we just do the one poll, do a game of my choice, should we just do one game that wins a poll and then do a complete randomizer where it's something in the mix, like we just do the randomizer out of my current game collection, so it's done that, or what do you guys recommend? Leave a comment because the way I want it to work is I want at least two games featured on the channel at the same time and then to feature the winner of the, po of the games in the poll. Who knows, maybe it'll be the top two games will be featured. And then, but then I also want to know what you guys think about what we do in the meantime, you know. You know, since we have two games on the channel, more than likely one game is going to be done before the next. <clears throat> so the clear winner of the last poll was Octodad. And we finished that very quickly. We finished that in two streams. So I'm now at a point where I go, now what? What, what do we do now? You know, we have, I want to wait at least a week so the poll gets a, gets a clear winner. You know, it's had some time to cook. Because right now, there is no clean winner. It's Shadow of the Colossus and Detroit Beyond Human. So it becomes human. So whatever it is. 
So, how will we decide that, you know? So, that's... I'm not sure. What I'm thinking is, guys, is, you know, we have two games, two games going at the same time, at least, minimum. One game will be the first clear winner, the second game may be just a, a game out of my random collection. Um, like, completely randomised again. Um... Is what I'm thinking, but I'm also thinking like that's that'll be done after more modding sim is done. Because right now the way it's going to work is we're going to be doing a human full flat and more mowing sim until both of those games are done. And probably most likely human full flat is going to be done before long mowing sim, but uh, who knows? Because long um. Human for Flat, me and Serpent have already done like a quarter of the game last night. We've already done 22 trophies out of the 94. So, it's going to be one of those games where we smash out in like two or three streams. So again, what are we going to do after that? You know? So, who knows? Maybe when Human for Flat's done, that's when the poll will go. That'll be finished. You know, obviously when... If we um, get the chance and channel becomes a bit more popular, people watching a bit more, people are able to vote on the poll a bit more, you know, maybe it doesn't need a week, maybe it only needs two or three days for it to fully cook, you know, but who knows, who knows, also, just thought my partner messaged me about my baby, but she did not, so, but I do like lawn mowing sim, this is a very fun game in general, I don't know why, mowing lawns in real life, Nowhere near as far as this. Maybe because you don't get as hot. I should also be cutting the lawn at 6 instead to make it going to the lawns a bit easier. Because 5 is a bit too much for the blades, I think. There you go. We just need to cut 20%. As soon as we get done at 20%, we're fine. You know, And the game does get easier with these bigger jobs. You know, you get the bigger lawn, like mowing the lawns, all that sort of stuff, it's fine. And the trophy there is pretty easy. You're going to get most of them by just playing the game normally. Um, there's only one or two. There's one for the collectibles, the valuables in the game that you pick up. The other one is like cutting, um, what is it? Cutting the lawns with like a really big lawnmower when that's like way too big, that sort of stuff, you know? So definitely easily one of those games where it's very streamable. You know, if you're just recording this on YouTube alone, it's gonna, it's gonna suck, you know. Uh, okay. Let's go leave. Let's leave location. Let's go do our first job and actually make some fucking money. But yeah. Who knows? Well, we're slowly getting there, guys. I think we're up to 21 subs now on YouTube. We just hit 50 followers. That's crazy. Um, we just need our average viewer on Twitch to be a little bit more. Then we can be affiliate. Then we can do crazy things. We can do fucking alerts. We can do subs. Everything. So, we're getting there, guys. There we go. I'm off. How do I run? There you go. Let's leave. Okay. Now, I'm going to get this one, actually. I'm going to get this one. Um, should we get the Ego? I sort of want... There you go. Alright, let's grab the... What is the biggest cutting width? Oh, that one's got the biggest cutting width. Let's do that. Let's do the Toro. Yeah, we always want the biggest cutting width. Because nothing else matters in that, really. Alright, let's go do this job. Easy. Employee. It'll be me. Ve vehicle. Equipment. Uh, yep. One of the contractors start. Yep. Cool. I know about that. I've already actually nearly 100% of this game on my other account but unfortunately my this game has a bad habit of save file corrupting so it's one of those games where I recommend you guys to um, upload upload your save file pretty much as soon as you can all right let's go pick up the shit
this is one of the harder things I found sometimes, is picking up the rubbish. Because it's so randomised and sometimes it just blends in very easily. Okay, yep. Let's just try not to cut the flowers. Just want to give yourself some as much room as possible because the last thing you want is going anywhere near these flowers. But then you also, oh, I didn't know I could overload the whipper snipper. I've never overloaded my whipper snipper before. Sorry, we'll get there. Unfortunately, this is one of the longer processes. But yeah, definitely one of the things where unfortunately I've only got um, one view at the moment and he's, he's pretty quiet so that's fine, that's all good. Obviously but definitely one of those games where chatting, talking about topics, talking about anything, I'd love for you guys to get involved as well. So if there's some YouTube guys, obviously depending on where you are, being able to catch a stream, I don't expect everyone to be able to catch a stream every now and again. Obviously the goal is to be able to go do this full time, that would be amazing. So I could do this in better times of the day, you know, I could do later, late night streaming for me being in Australia, that syncs up with American times, all that sort of stuff, you know? Lots of things we want to do. So, but again, ideally being able to do this at a full time would be amazing. Because I think even midday streaming, I think that's night time for most Americans. So again, I don't know how that works, because unfortunately most of Twitches and everything else, consumers are American, I think. I believe, anyways. And luckily I've been blessed with good internet in Australia, so it all works out, but yeah. It's definitely one of those, I might even be able to get some topics running. One of those games where you could possibly run some royalty for music in the background would probably actually make this pretty good. I might look into that actually. Won't do it this stream, but I'll look into it next stream. Because I did actually do some royalty free music one time <coughs> on the channel, uploaded to YouTube as I normally do, and I got hit with a copy, uh, what is it, a copyright, not claim, but like a, not a strike, but one of the ones where it's like, hey, like, this is not a claim on your channel, nothing crazy, just don't do it again, sort of thing. When, but I went out of my way to get royalty free music, so I don't understand that. So maybe I didn't choose the right music. I'm not sure. I might have to look into it a bit more. Because this is one of the things where probably some music really low volume in the background is good. But who knows. We're getting there boys. We definitely are getting there. Also, I'd love to know if there's anyone who actually watches on YouTube and anyone who watches the Twitch VODs, like, what is your favourite, as of the last few years, what has been your favourite game to Platinum? You know, what's been your favourite Platinum? Not your favourite game, but what's been your favourite Platinum that you've got, you know? Maybe something that you're, you know, is a really hard one, you're super proud of it, something that you just generally had a lot of fun with, you know? Or something like that. I think the last Platinum I actually had really fun with was maybe... I don't know, maybe Dune 2016, that was a very fun one, that was a good overall game, if you guys haven't played Dune 2016, I highly recommend it, fantastic game, Eternal, I wouldn't recommend it as much, especially just for the online trophies, um, but Dune 2016 I think is a phenomenal game, I think it's great. Um, I'm just trying to think what else, what else was a good Platinum, I also did probably one of the longest Platinums I've ever done, was um uh what was it um harvest moon what is it lighthouse island whatever um light of hope or something like that it was that was a very very enjoyable platinum but it also took me over 250 hours to get it wouldn't it, nowhere near would take anyone that long if you come in it ready and prepared and know what you're doing that was my first harvest moon game i ever played 
didn't know how the seasons work, didn't know only things grow in certain seasons, didn't know that you could reload your save and you don't get the most optimal, like, farm out of it, you know, your output, you know, plant all the seeds, what I used to do is just plant all the seeds, then whatever I get when they, like, pop out, you know, if there's not any rare ones, you know, I'll just take it and leave it, what you, what, and what I looked into it, what you could do, and what I ended up doing right at the end, you know, you plant all your seeds, you do everything, and then you would upload your, uh, what is it, you would save the game, and then just the night before, and then when you wake up, you'll see how many is there, you know, if there's like six or seven, you would upload your save file to the cloud, you know, reload the game, see if you get a better output, you know, you do that a few times, if, if the next night you may only get three, the next time you may get ten, you know, you never know, um, so that's what I started doing at the end of the game, but at the start of the game I didn't, I just took whatever I got, some days I only got one, some days I got two, and it made that ground really slow, especially when you had to sell seeds to get that seed to be able to plant it, so you had a different variant of another one, you know, that took the most time. Cool. Alright. We're going to put the trimmer away. And we are going to go. Uh, Alright, start it. Throw it all up. What kite, what kite height do we need? Uh, anywhere between 5 and 6. So let's go 6. Okay. Right, I'm not going to turn it on until we're on the grass. Performance during cut cutting will affect how much money and reputation points you get, and you need to find a balance between driving carefully, avoiding flowers on the lawn, or cutting quickly to earn a time bonus. Yes. But since I spent a lot of time with the snippering, it should make it a bit easier. Especially the last bit where I gave it a bit more, like, a bit more, what do you call it, a bit more birth. As they, as they say. There you go, so now this is going to be pretty easy. There we go, that's a good one. Um, since we also own the DLC for this game, you know, we're definitely going to be doing the DLCs for it. You know, what I'm actually excited for, but again, it's just more than guys, it's nothing crazy. This is like, I think this out of like, if you compare the this to some of the simulator games, this is definitely one of the more grindier ones, but who knows, I would love to, I would personally love to do like a trucking sim, um, we're going to be doing a farming sim at least one point during, like at one point in time, because I actually fucking love those games, you know, and the newest farming sim is pretty easy to do, you can actually do that in a few hours with, unfortunately with some sheep and stuff, but maybe that's not what people want, you know, you know, I'm definitely on the agreements with I'm okay with exploits, you know, if there's a mechanic in the game and you're using that mechanic in game with no external help, you know, I think very good, I think that's very fair, you know, if you're going into the debug menu and you're doing this shit, um, I say debug menu, if it's built into the game, I think that's fair, you know, like for instance, I'll use Jack 2 and 3 Plyman as a, um, I was thinking, Jack 2's Platinum you could do in maybe 30 minutes. PlayStation 3 takes a little bit longer, but Jack 2 you could probably do that within an hour. I reckon an hour is fair. Um, with the debug menu. You pretty much, it's just a, like a, sort of like, pretty much maybe like a cheat code, yeah, like a grand, like a San Andreas cheat code you do in the start of the menu, opens up a debug menu, you can use that to pretty much get the Platinum within an hour. Same as Jack 3, you know? And I think that's fair. I think that, that is left in the game. That is that is something we can use to to do it, you know? To, that's something that's left in the game. It's the same as using a mechanic to get infinite money, or it's a glitch, something like that. Glitches, exploits, I'm very fine with. I've got no problems with that. Cheating using means of, like, hacking into the game, doing that sort of stuff, no. Absolutely not. That's that's so dumb. It's it's pointless. You know, some people may seem that we're like, well, why are you why are you okay with using exploits and glitches, but you're not okay with someone using external help? Because 
I'm playing the game as maybe the developers didn't want to do, but I'm still playing the game within the means of in the game, you know? I'm still doing everything that the game is giving me, you know? Where I'm not downloading the fucking cheat menu from outside world to hack the trophies in or to hack items in to make the thing. No. No. But I'm very... I think that's... Me personally, I think that's fair. I think glitches and exploits, exploits, people are allowed. That's for sure. So that's something we're going to be definitely be doing, given the chance, you know? I'm also very time, like, I want to be more time efficient and effective as well, you know? Before we start platinums, before we think, I want to start looking in guides a bit more, you know? Looking at stuff a bit more. Seeing what is the best way to do it, you know? Demon Souls, we wasted a lot of time when I didn't use the build, correct build, and um, I stuffed around a lot with fucking up one of the trophies and we pretty much had to do all the NP stuff again, the NPC stuff again, the Black Phantom stuff again, you know? Yeah, stuff like that. But, um, you know, it's all a learning process anyways. I should know this stuff anyways. I wasn't really massive time efficient on my other profile anyways, you know? If there was a guide on YouTube, I'd possibly look at it, but if it's a game like this, you don't really need a guide, you know, you just need to make sure you pay attention to some trophies, you know, the collectibles, the valuables, yeah, try and pick them up as you go, you know, quickly look up where the valuable is at the end of the level before you do it, you know, all that sort of stuff, it's fine. Oh, there you go, I missed that one. <coughs> that one as well. How do you use that? How do you use that view? I think I have to get off the wall in order to use that view. Pro view or whatever to see if I preview if I miss I fucking see if where I've missed. So look I've missed one there. I'm, gr I'm glad I grabbed this one instead of the side one. The side fucking spewer one. Because people you just have to throw that in the garden. So you have to do the opposite way to maybe what you would want to mow the lawns at. So I prefer these ones and the mulching ones for sure. Um, one of the main challenges in this game as well is the, um, uh, what is it? The, uh, the challenges, the challenger maps. At the start they're very simple, very easy, but the challenges later on in the game, they're actually quite hard. Especially ones where you have, don't really have any fuel. Oh no, the fuel ones are apparently very easy. Um, it's the time one where you have to do like a certain requirement within a time limit. Um, I remember one where you had to like do, you need the ones where you use a cylinder mower and you have to um, cut a pattern into the grass um, within a certain time limit and that sucked. That took me a few tries, you know. I probably should have used the whip snipper on those. It's fine. It's all good. It's not a big issue. 12 o'clock, 12.17 p.m. Not bad. Obviously, this is a daytime stream, guys. That's why I don't really have any viewers. Most of my viewers, they can only watch during the night. Um, so, that's why I thought, just a quick day stream here while we're just chilling out, you know. There's not many times of, during the weeks where I really get some time to myself during the day. So, you know, I'm just sitting down. I'm going to play this for an hour or two. Thought I might as well just stream while I'm doing it. I've got some videos uploading in the background, got some stuff being edited right now, you know. It's all coming up Millhouse. But um yeah guys, definitely I'll put the poll in the description so you guys can vote. It's something I've been lacking for getting to do. Um so that's gonna be in there now for you guys to be able to vote and stuff like that. I want YouTube a bit more involved sort of been lacking with it and I've just sort of been doing it as like just uploading the videos where I actually want this to be a second platform you know there is a reason, reason why I didn't stream on YouTube there is some better reasons why I wanted to go for Twitch instead of YouTube streaming you know who knows you may get more viewers YouTube streaming but at the end of the day it's not all about viewers I just want to have fun and I, I, me personally Twitch works a bit better
and I also know that I probably aggravated some people by really fucking up the lawns then just then by like missing stuff. But it's fine. This is legit a game, so it doesn't really matter, does it? <laughs> okay. Get that one there, might as well. I actually can't tell where my blade is either. I think it's in the center. Yeah, it'll be in the center. Okay. There we go. Try and cut a little bit more inwards over here to get this one. It's all about getting the line, your line set up at the start and you're able to get them. There you go. See, like this is a bad line to start it. There we go. So I definitely would have missed some spots for sure. But that's fine. That's pretty close. Again, we need only need to get like 98%, so nothing crazy. We're nearly at 80 oh, we're nearly at 80% though. This goes pretty quick. Some of these jobs go pretty quick. You know, especially as soon as you get the bigger like bigger lawn mowers, these areas become very quick to do. Especially the smaller yards, you know, crazy how quickly you do them. There is a job for completing the whole job with just a whipper snipper as well, the trophy, but we're going to be getting those right at the end, I feel like. So I'm just going to get this part here that I missed. And then there's a few more over here that I can't fucking see. There we go. I don't know how well I did that. Probably missed a few things. But that's fine. Again. Not fucking... Don't need 100%. I think there is a trophy for getting 100%, I think. But we won't get on this one. Oh, I might have a look-see. We'll see. Nearly done, nearly done. Obviously we go still want to do that point as well, but that's going to be pretty easy. I'm glad we fucking separated it up. There we go. Now don't always overturn your lawns as well. There's a good chance that you're going to fuck the lawns as well by hard turning. And I've done that a few times in my life. Okay. Back up, let's make sure we just get this. And then let's go here. Perfect. God, you fucking get through a percentage in like pretty quickly. Roughly about six seconds you'll get through a percentage. Well, it's pretty quick. Um, I also have a recommendations, um, game recommendations channel as well, guys. Um, so if there is some stuff you want to see on the channel, you know, chuck that in the game recommendations, you know. And then what I do, I chuck it in my wish list on PlayStation Plus, you know. And when things come on sale, and if we got this, like, income, we'll get it. So, um, it's on my channel, on the Twitch channel as well. And it's also in the Discord as well. Um, feel free to join the Discord as well, guys. It's not really popping off at the moment. With some, that's okay. That's perfect. So I haven't really given it the time that it needs to, but I am going to spend some time trying to get it set up. So there is like a discussion, you know, like a post a platinum thing where guys can you can post the platinum you latest got, what you guys recommend it, would you recommend it for anyone else? Does it have a mine? That sort of stuff, you know. And then I'll be setting up community nights as well, where we're going to be 
playing games with multiplayer, like my friend um, Bushido Cypher, he just did a community night for Red Dead Redemption 1, what I think is great, you know, on, on PS3, you know, people where they didn't have that platinum, people are going out of the way and they're getting it now because of this, and he's doing all the DLC ones, the ones where, like, you need to kill, like, 10 different people in a match, you know, all that sort of stuff, you know, that's the sort of stuff I want to do. So that's where we're going to be posting on Discord. We will be posting it on um, the Facebook. Um, and I'm going to be uh, updating the Instagram as well. I don't have a Twitter. Um, we, won't, we won't be making a Twitter right now anyways. Me personally, I think Twitter is a bit overkill. I think Facebook is just fine at the moment. So, you know, there's a lot of people that do have Twitter. I don't. You know, it's it's not a it's not a big thing in Australia in general, Twitter. But uh, who knows? We'll just might even make a LinkedIn. <laughs> All right, we're at ninety six. So we get there. But yeah, guys, definitely feel free jump in the Discord. I'm gonna put a recommendation. Uh, what is it? A um, like a Sort of thing like what you guys think, like thing and an idea is pretty and an idea set, but what you guys recommend, you know, maybe there's some ideas you guys want to see implemented in the channel, you know, if you want to see some more multiplayer games, some more co op stuff, um, any of that, I'll put it in there. But yeah, feel free to join the Discord, guys. I'll put it in the channel description, um, it is in already in there already under my socials tab. If you go to my socials. And in the link tree, it'll take you to the Discord, the Facebook, the Twitch, everything in there. So it all links up. There you go. If you have grass clippings left on the path or flab as you can pick them up. Um, Alright, we are done. So let the, let's get the fuck out of here. Imagine leaving the grass like that. Imagine leaving a big thing like that and you just go, yeah, cool, I'm going. And I'm just going to double check. I feel like there is some items around here. Uh, oh, is this new? Pretty sure that's new. I'm just having a look for valuables because there is random valuables about. And each of the, um,. They, like, in each of the map, there's va random valuables, like, hidden, not hidden, I guess, but, like, around. You just gotta look for them. Sometimes they're on here, sometimes they're on chairs, sometimes they're on desks. They may not be in this one, sometimes they're not. Doesn't look like it. it's going to be. I'll just check this bench. No, I'm just gonna check back here. Huh, carrots in there, no rabbit. Let's see what's this. What's this? Frying pan. Okay, let's go. We can always come back. Leave the location, yes please. Cool, that's the first job. So that would technically give us one trophy already. So let me have a look-see and see... Uh, actually, let me just check and see this. This will be easier. Trophies. Huberful flat. Uh, not Huberful flat. Lord Monk's in. There we go. So, what was that for? Purchase the first vehicle. So, we would already have that one. Let's make that one out of 35. Complete a contract. We would have two out of 35 now. And then, what is the other one? Drive a total of one mile. And we would have got that one already. With that. I think, anyways. Cool. 
Uh, so what we got? We got no fines. One dollar forty-six in vehicle maintenance. Cutting time bonus eight dollars. Ground check earnings. How much money we get? Three hundred bucks. That's pretty good. It's pretty good, boys. This is the vehicle garage here. You can fix it. Um, maintenance. Uh, it's gonna cost us nothing to repair it. The blades. We're gonna fix it, and the grass is empty. Um, and then again, we're going to recharge this. And then we're going to move on to the next one. This one. Okay, we need to get 99.5. Recommended dex width 110. We need to cut grass between 30, or current and grass range. We need to cut it down to 6 or 7. And, we, and that gives us about 30 minutes. So that's fine. So we're probably going to do this one and then that'll be it for today's stream, I reckon. Okay, six to seven. Let's go do a ground check first. I already see one, there's a gnome over there. Now these big ones like this, sometimes it's fucking hard to see where this shit is because sometimes it blends in with this grass like here where like the ground is uneven and there's multiple different sectors. This is where I sort of... Uh, I'm not very good at spotting shit. Alright, just going to double check this side. Okay, that's good. Alright, we checked... This, oh there, there you go, pick up object. Any valuables in here? No. Okay, there's this gnome. And hopefully this other object is very easy to find along here, there it is. Okay, so we just check to see if there's some valuables. Can't see any. Cannot see any yet, so we're going to grab our trimmer first. We're going to do this. Now, I remember this map pretty well. This is, um, I've done this map a few times. Not as much as another map, but I remember there being another opening over here somewhere. Here, yep, yes it is. And this is not too bad, because it's so open, it's pretty good. Oh, fuck. It's fine. We're gonna get it anyways. It was gonna happen. Didn't think it was gonna happen this early, but it's happened. Now, I probably don't need to go as wide as I did last time. So we're probably just gonna go like this. Isn't it crazy how some of this is like very close to the flowers, but some of it is like obviously the, the devs didn't put so much time looking at how close it is. Because there's some big inconsistencies between like some grasses and some not, and I don't know if they're just, they go, oh that's in real life, but I think it's just them not placing it very well in some areas. Overall this game is very good, like that wise, you know. I think this is a very good simulator game. It's not my favourite simulator game. I don't know what is my favourite simulator game, actually. I've only really played Car Mechanic Simulator, this, um, House Flipper, if you call that a simulator game. I guess it is. Um, what else have I done? A few other random bits of bobs along here. But this is the one I probably, uh, I'd probably like this one the most. I'd like it a bit better if my, um, game didn't fucking... Um, my save file didn't die last time. But, oh. There we go. But, um, I'm actually was really hoping that Hyperdimension and Neptunia was going to get a little bit higher than it did last time, because I'd love to play that. That's a good game. You know, but I'm, I'm excited for when we can play some real lengthy games in the, in the future, guys. Like some fucking solid ones, you know. 
you know, obviously it's good playing Platinums that take 10, like, 5 to 10 hours, very quick ones, you know, games that take like 2 or 3, but when we be able to do like midday streams, stuff like that, when we can, it's our job, you know, that's going to be crazy, when we can be able to fucking stream for 7 to 8 hours, you know, smash some full gameplay, get some stuff going, you know, it's going to be a very exciting time, you know, obviously, there's a 1 in a million chance that that can happen, you know, that's the one percenters, but gotta have hope, right? We're just gonna try. We're just fucking gonna get see what's get there. So that's what I mean. That it all relies on fuck another one. It all relies, unfortunately, on myself and the viewers. So I'm gonna try and give you guys the best experience possible. So I'm very sorry that I've been lacking with that, especially YouTube. You know, when Twitch comes in, you know, I don't interact with you guys a lot. So it's only when I have this time now where the chat's very quiet, you know, where I can really pop in, talk to you guys properly, you know. With games like this where there's maybe not a crazy amount going on. Um, I need to change it between, what was it, uh, 6 and 7, so we're going to go 7, obviously. Try and give us enough room as possible, we're not overloading it. But this one, I don't think, takes very long, because since it's split up in two sections. Pretty easy to mow in general. Yeah, there you go. I can't remember this one pretty good. There's only some points where it may give you a bit of grief, but the, the ones I really like are the very small houses. Those are the ones I like the most. As soon as we get that one, I'm just going to double check it because I'm pretty sure there's a trophy for completing a whole job with just a whipper snipper. And again, very easy for those jobs. After I, after I do this initial cut, I'm going to separate them into two bits. <coughs> and we'll probably do the. Not this side. Oh, we'll, we'll do this side first. Stuff it. We'll do this side first. also wanting to know what you guys recommend for if you guys are really into content creation yourself what do you guys use for video editing and stuff like that you know unfortunately I've, I'm in a my financial situation means I can't really go out and buy Adobe or all that sort of stuff so I am relying on a couple of free services like DaVinci uh, Resolve that's pretty good for a free thing I think that's solving all the things I want to do right now Obviously, it doesn't have any of, like, the video editing stuff that I want to do, you know? Hey, Jack, how are you, brother? Nice to see you in the middle of the day. <coughs> but, um, yeah, it doesn't have any of the, some of the video editing stuff I want to do. It's mainly for cutting and stitching and stuff like that, as far as I can tell. This is the free version, anyways. The full version might obviously have that, but I'm using the free version. Um... Shit, I went get against the hackle and balance, bro. That shit. I'm sorry. But, um, but yeah, I'd love to know what you guys think of, um, what you guys use, obviously. I don't really, I'm not a big fan of, like, getting free shit, you know, hacking into stuff going on the. surfing the bay, if you know what I mean. Not, not a massive fan of that. So, I do like to pay for stuff. If I can, you know, it's the right thing to do. I think Adobe is a bit shit where you've got to pay like a subscription. I think that's dumb. To use a software, a software stuff like that where it's, it's like not really a live service. If it's a, if it's a live service, yeah, subscription is fine. I think that's fair. But like a, a program where all they need to do is just update it every now and again. I think fucking you pay your one-off fee and that's it. I think that's very fair. You know, but some people may against that because especially Adobe where they are updating their stuff pretty regularly, you know, but yeah. I also use Canva a lot for my thumbnails. I use Canva a lot for a lot of um, photo editing. You know, obviously it's not, it's not a Photoshop or anything. I love a Photoshop. But one day, one day we'll be able to get it. Oh, 
Jesus. There we go. But it's, it's super, I'm glad that we're very close to being affiliate as well. Jack, I'm not sure if you saw that, but we're super close. We're, we're at the 50 followers mark, but unfortunately our average dropped down a little bit. So we're going to try to, um, you know, hopefully that goes back up a little bit. I think the other day, I think we had six viewers the other day, so that bumped it up. I might even have to check what the average is at now. And then as soon as that happens, we are Gucci. We're gonna, some big things are going to happen on the channel. Um, channel points is going to be the main one that you're better use for um, stream alerts, you know, highlight your messages. Like, I'm going to do a couple of like stream alert overlays where, like, maybe some trophy stuff, some funny stuff, you know. Got to look into that, see what the best one is. And then we've got to look into emotes, baby. So, we'll have to look at it and see what you guys think. Obviously, we're going to do some trophy emotes, even though the, the market is flooded with them. I feel like we've got to have our own, though, don't we? Um, who knows? I think uh, maybe a little can of Coke. Who knows? Lots of things. There's even a few Dark Souls emotes that I wanted to get. Obviously Dark Souls. Big fan of that series, by the way. I'm terrible at the games, you can tell it's Demon's Souls. Not very good at them, but... I do like them. We'll do Demon Souls. Oh, we'll do Dark Souls at one point. And Dark Souls I've definitely got a lot more experience in. Um, so, yeah. know the world pretty pretty good the only thing I just don't know I just don't know where every single soul is you know but we'll get there we'll get there Dark Souls 2 again massive fan know that one a lot love that game tremendous game gets a lot more hate than what it deserves you just can't compare like an apple to a banana they're just two entirely different games Also really hoping that the Surge pops up at one point. Surge is a very good Souls-like. And since we finished Demon Souls, hopefully Dark Souls um, again comes up. Also, what I was going to suggest um, Jack and, and YouTube and shit is um, with the polls, you know, say for instance if um, Shadow Warriors 2 comes up on the poll. I'm going to put Shadow Warriors 1 in there, because I feel like we need to play the games in order for the tournaments. I feel like that's the, you know, if, if we own the games and they're available, we're going to do it. If we don't own them, sure, we'll do it, but, you know, I feel like that. Maybe if the series wasn't as, as important, like, if we do Final Fantasy, I would like to do the original games, because I've never played them, so I'd love to do it. We're definitely going to be doing the Final Fantasy series on this channel at one point, you know. We've also got Neo there sitting around as well, that I'd love to play Neo. Neo is a fucking fantastic game. Especially Neo 2. I haven't even played Neo 2 yet, and I know it's great, so. So quite hungry. It's called for 2. I haven't had any lunch. That's why I'm hungry. I asked my partner to bring, bring us some back some lunch. Um, also, Jack, if you're there, just let me know. I just want to ask you a question, if that's alright. Nothing crazy. I just want to see what your opinion is on the polls and stuff, and what you guys, what you think. Let me know if you're there or not, because I know sometimes you do dip out a little bit here and there. Also, I thought this would be done with this a lot quicker, but this is taking a lot longer than what I thought it was.
There we go. Oh, I'm gonna fucking do something ridiculous. We're cutting across. Oh, we're gonna do it in the sections. We're gonna do this part. And then we get this part. Oh, that was a good one. Alright, we get this and we turn. And then we get this and we turn. Try and get the fucking bit I missed. There we go. Got that, let's get this. And then let's try and bring this in a little bit more. There we go. Also, I'm very sad I missed the Plants vs. Zombies hype a little bit, because I'd love to do Plants vs. Zombies on this channel, but fortunately we did miss the um, multipliers popping off. I did play the um, the game that came out on PlayStation Plus when it came out a little bit. I don't think it was the latest one, I think it was the one before it, I think. And that was very good. That was very good, that was very fun. A bit very grindy. You had to get all characters up to level 10, and that one sucked. That was a very grindy one, I did that for a few nights in a row. Just doing some offline grinding that you can do. <coughs> There we go. Come on. There we go. There. Yeah, we definitely, I thought we might be able to get another job in after this one, but this one has taken a lot longer than I thought it would, so. We're just gonna, we're actually just gonna do the rest of the lawn like we normally would. Look, this is a big lawn. I wonder why it was so much bigger. God. Oh, be able to let's segment off this part. There you go. Right, let's just do this part at least. Get this done with. Get this part that I missed. Alright, let's get this part. Imagine if you fucking you were paying someone to mow the lawn and this is how they were mowing the lawn. Just going backwards and forwards like this instead of fucking doing lines. I would actually be so mad, my lawn would look like shit. <laughs> get 99.5 you know so right, let's get this there we go and then let's uh, do this so let's like make it a bit wider let's just get a clean link to make it a bit easier I guess we have to do that point there because I've already done this part, so cut off a fucking new part. Not here, the previous one I did. Back there. I don't know why I only did that small section, because now I've fucking got to do this. So now I feel like I've got to cut this part off as well and just do this. Oh, that's fine. I'll just go around and get this part. There we go. Alright. 
not ideal for this part here. But we're going to get this cut off to what like let's uh let's cut like this. Something like that. There you go. That's pretty normal. <coughs> This is a good section, actually. There we go. Okay, what are we at? Just under 60. Cool. Oh, I've got itchy finger disease right now. I actually hate my logo. I thought I liked it, but I actually had it on the back. I do like the black shirt though. I think last time I did I think I had a blue shirt. I think last time I played this game. Because you see the character on the mod. How do you go first person? How do you go first person? Sprint, uh, always sprint on. Uh, done that, but what's the, what's the button for first person? I guess it's maybe on the main menu, I have to see what the buttons are. Getting there. <clears throat> oh wait, I'm first person when I get off the machines. What am I talking about? Of course there's no button to do it. I'm first person when I get off the machine. I'm such an idiot. Um, tonight as well we're going to be doing some more um, human for flat as well with Serpent. Gonna get through a few more levels, and then I think probably the next stream will do probably the remainder of the DLCs, I reckon. And then there's only one trophy left for doing uh, the speed run. We have to complete uh, all the levels in one sitting, but it's not all the levels. It's not. It is some of the DLC levels, but not a lot of them. Not all of them. It is only some. So, but again, very easy when you're doing speed running. Um, a bit easier when you're not on Florida versus Australia connection, but that's fine. And we, when we stream tonight while we're waiting for Serpent, we might just try and do a few of the trophies that we did miss. Um, so like the um, the rope one. Oh no, we got the right one. It was the trophy for um, doing the, <coughs> uh, what is it, the, what do you call it, the fucking parkour, the parkour trophy for like jumping across the lanterns and stuff and doing it within like 40 seconds or something like that. Okay, cool. That part's done. Then we can move on. Perfect. This is good. This is much better. I'm just watching my over my um, engine overloading as well. Cool, look at those lines. Fuck, I'd be so mad if I was a paying customer. Cool, let's get that I missed it. Okay. There we 
go. Let's do that and then just get the part that I missed. I missed heaps of spots. There we go. It always happens when you're turning. You always miss quite a bit. Sort of need to go a bit more wider when you're doing your turns. Cutting more into where you just, like, where you cut previously. It seems. So that's another part we didn't with the snipper. That's fine. What are we at? 23. And the time for the mowing up was 30 minutes. Or was 40 minutes. Can't remember. It's crazy though, people fucking have these yards. Like this is crazy. Like if someone in Australia had these type of yards in their front lawns or back backyards, fucking crazy. They they're like on like over 150, 200,000 for sure. This is just not a thing. <clears throat> well that's that's especially Australia in like city sort of places, even country towns, they don't have big backyards like this. Their front yard's normally full of fucking plants and flowers, but not like big open grassy areas in it, if you know what I mean. Nah, I said I wasn't going to do it, but I had to. It pissed me off. Oh, okay. Fuck. Three flat, like three of them, this one fucking mission. Not great. Cool. We're at 92.9, so we're getting there. I only need, uh, what is that, 6.2% more, at least, minimum. Perfect. Oh fuck, our grass is getting full. Part. Nice. Oh, I missed a fucking gaping hole there. Right. Let's get this, let's get this. Let's get this. so close. I'm just crazy. This is one of like the, the average size maps as well. Like this is nothing. Obviously when you get the bigger lawn mowers it's much easier to do these sort of missions. Cool. Alright let's go back. Let's get this one. Ninety eight point four. 
99.9 we are only need two percent more or point two of a percent that's it that's it let's fucking boogie and there we get up Fill this up. Recover. Let's recharge it now. That's fine, that's fine, let's go. Now, unfortunately, I did have some fines. That's really annoying. There we go, baby. A first official trophy. There you go. 4 out of 35. Nice. Okay, and your first rank up. Perfect. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. We've got the amateur challenge. And these are the DLCs unlocked. It is. You can edit your avatar, company ID, your current company rank has progressed. Yep, cool. So that's where we upgrade our building, purchase HQ, advertisements. Um, what does this do though? Oh, it gives us more RP. Um, how do we hire people? Oh look, there's a... Uh... Oh look, these are the DLCs. Okay, Raptor Enclosure, that's the DLC. We can probably do that one. What is that? What is this job? What is this? Oh, this is a litter job. Let's quickly do this. Let's do this. This is fine. This is just litter. Litter jobs are my favourite in this game. It's very easy to smash out. You just pretty much just go run across, pick shit up as you go. It's very easy. Mowing the lawn on this one would suck. It actually would suck. It would fucking blow. No raptor eggs. Huh. Look at these raptor eggs. That's cool. This is sort of fun. This is a cool idea though. Fucking hell, this is a big map though. Go this way. Nearly done. Eleven. It's the last one down here. Sure is. That's it. That's it. Nice. Ah, oh, that's cool. What was this? <gasps> nice guys. Our first bonus. Our first fucking valuable. Five out of thirty-five. Nice guys. That's actually fucking good. Oh find the valuable in the raptor and goes on. Okay. <laughs> good one. Now this doesn't obviously give us a lot of RP, but this is the job where like you'll send your guys out on the harder jobs while you do this why you do the these jobs these are the best because like oh we got 500 bucks on available fuck me how would you fucking be <laughs> fuck me look at the fucking rp bonus though that is not <laughs> uh, another one 
37 out of 35. Fucking hell. We're already nearly... You, you do earn trophies in this very quick though. It, and then right at the end, you definitely do not. Um, oh, my screen has become shifted. Let's do that. That's better. Okay. Oh, fuck's sake. Then watch me get another one, I betcha. <laughs> uh, no more, please. There we go. <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, uh, we can upgrade our fucking facility. How much money have we got? This would only leave us 90 bucks, so let's not do this. What would it give us? It'll give us one more bay, so we can buy another mower and get someone else. It'll take seven days. No, we'll do another job before we do that. But that's it. This will be the last one. This is the last one of the day. I'm going to go have some lunch. I'm going to go clean up. All this random shit. But, again, thanks for watching, guys. Jack, if you're here, thanks for fucking watching and chipping in every now and again. But, um... Yeah, I'm going to spend a lot more time focusing on YouTube and getting it done. So, but I hope you guys have a lovely afternoon and day or whatever you guys need to do. And I'll see you guys later.